Woohoo! Welcome back to Big Cat the Nerd and today's episode of the Arsenal Let's Play as we continue our fine form in the Premier League today with a game against Wolves. Wolves are seventh in the league currently. We're up to fifth. We're doing all right. After the Liverpool loss, we then, we've then we taken a longer run of games before bringing the next episode. Uh, we had a few Europa League games in there and some Carabao Cup. All victories. Uh, we got lucky with a win against Brighton. We then smashed AEK 8-1. A uh, rotated team coming in and doing the business there. Beat Burnley away. Beat West Brom away. Nearly lost that. Uh, very close to losing, actually. I think they scored first, and then we scored. Then we scored real late on just to seal it. But yes, had to rely on a penalty to get us. I think it was a penalty and a free kick got us the, the lead. And then Lacazette scoring uh, after that. James Rodriguez coming in trumps for us. Uh, we then beat Norwich away 3-0, and then beat AEK away 2-1. Again, that was a hard-fought game. Uh, we were 1-0 down for a lot of the game. 70th minute, decided to turn it on. Nelson and Callum Chambers scoring an absolute thunder bastard. Uh, so we're back for a game against Wolves today. It does mean we are top in our European group. Four games played, four wins, 19 goals scored. Absolutely smashing it. But, I mean, we were never going to not. So, uh, that's why we're not bringing any of the Europe, European leagues, uh, the league games at the moment. Wolves sitting in seventh. We're sat fifth with the two games in the hand now. Fifth with two games in the hand is good. 26 points is what we could get if we win both, which means we could slip above Man United into fourth, into the Champions League positions after 12 games. The current, uh, look at this, Liverpool absolutely smashing it. 11 wins, one draw, no losses, 34 points. City and Chelsea sitting equal behind them. Man City, uh, Man United, sorry, then just above us. Uh, we are holding points with Everton and Wolves themselves. Uh, Wolves are game behind, so this is a big one for us. If they beat us, they go above us. We beat them. We stay above them. So a big game all round. We want to try and push. We need to try and get into the Champions League, right? Get Arsenal back into the Champions League with this team. We're in November. We haven't got a lot of money. We've not got we've got players that are wanted, but to be fair, I'm actually quite happy with the size of the squad. We've had no Abamyang for most of the season, to be fair. We've managed to hold on uh, through uh, all the different cups we're playing as well with a, with a good level of rotation. Uh, players like Saka coming in, he's got six goals already, uh, comes in for a replacement for Pepe. Uh, Reese Nelson and Martinelli swap in, both of them getting goals as well. Uh, and Nketiah in for Lacazette, not getting as many goals, but I like the switching that we have available to us. Uh, Sabolas is doing a great job as a box-to-box, -box, which is an interesting role. He's more of a Metzala, but he's playing well as a box-to-box. -box. Uh, and then we also have uh, guys like Willock, we've got Maitland-Niles uh, dropping around. I've not used Torreira at all, really. Uh, and Ertzil and Rodriguez switching in and out. Ertzil falling behind, though. Rodriguez, four goals, six assists. Ertzil with uh, just the three assists. So this is what I wanted to see was James show his uh, his dominance in there. And uh, actually, the two Real Madrid boys are working quite well through the middle. So today we're going to take on a Wolves. Uh, we have our fullbacks back. Tierney's still trying to work up to full fitness and Bellerin is in. Uh, we do have a problem that we don't have backup left backs. Kolasniak is out for another three months. So it is all on Tierney at the moment. So in the, uh, yeah, in, in the December transfer window, we probably will look at left back. But we're going to have to look at loans because we've not got a lot of money left to spend. So Wolves going for with a defensive 5-2-2-2-1, leaving Jota up top on his own. We'll go for an assertive, go out there, play your natural game, and you should win. And let's get the game underway then. We'll see how effective Jota is. In fact, let's just get him marked up straight away, shall we? Let's just try and mark him out of the game, see how they uh, play. Okay, so their wide men push forward anyway. As we've just seen, left midfielder getting in and is the furthest far forward for Wolves. If you are enjoying the save so far, make sure you do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, we've got a lot of... Go on, Nelson. Go on. Tenny inside. Oh, are we going to get a pen? Come on. We'll take a pen one minute in. Uh, if you are enjoying, yeah, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. We've got a lot of short challenge series coming to YouTube. And if you do like your live football manager, make sure you go and check out on Twitch as well. Pepe misses the penalty. Okay. That's not, that's not really a, a glorious endorsement of my, uh, my managerial style there. So Nicolas Pepe showing me, shouldn't be taking any uh, penalties going forward. I think that's the second one he's missed, actually. Tierney now in. James back to Tierney. Tierney in swinger. Oh, nearly finds. Jotto, uh, Otto Chloe clears it. Pepe. Scuffs wide. Looks like Saka might be coming on sooner rather than later here. Adama Troy puts it back inside. Pepe picks it up. Bellerin. Nice little short pass. Okay, guys. I know you like the short passing, but let's not dick around too much. Freaking hell. Even Leno's getting involved. 
That was some sweet tiki taka style there. Pepe. He's gone for the long range effort. We did all the tiki taka and then we shoot from 40 yards. He's now taken a knock as well. Sometimes, okay, let's just, like, Pepe's off. Let's get Saka on. We'll blame the injury for subbing in within 20 minutes of a game. Triore, in swinger, Barnett's there, Leno holds. Misses a penalty, gets a knock. It's been a little bit wild. Let's see what Saka can do here. Straight away, he's on the ball. 23 minutes in, oh, he gets robbed. James comes in behind. Plays a lovely ball into Lacazette. Lacazette hits it, but wide. James now, left side, in swing. David Luiz, back post. Gets his first goal of the season. James Rodriguez with another assist. Doing what he did for us at Real Madrid. Just proving to be very, very useful. In swinging uh, free kick. David Luiz rides at the back post. Nicely done. So that is half time. A missed penalty and a goal from David Luiz gives us the lead at half time. Let's go. Stress. No, no, no. Uh, let's go with. You weren't that bad. There we go. Turn around. You two up front. Nelson and Lacazette, let's get you sorted, shall we? I say if um, not happy. There we go. Fired up, ready to go. Let's rock and roll. A second half against Wolves here at home. Let's get a second goal, put the game out of sight. <clears throat> James comes forward. Oh, plays a ball across. No one's there. They are sat very, very defensively. Um, we'll leave it for now. I am thinking that maybe we, we whip the crosses in a little bit quicker. Hammers, Saka. Saka does well. Oh, does one. Otto then clears. No, Diego Jota. Oh, it gets through and Leno with the safe. Right, 54 minutes gone. Nilsson not looking good. Martinelli in. Let's get Lacazette off. Enketcha on. Triple sub made. We're good to go. Hammers, 56 minutes. Whips it in. Can he? Oh, we've run away. Martinelli. Hammers. Yeah. Oh, no. Cebolas. Oh, <laughs> tries to cheeky little headed goal. Not getting anywhere with that. But we've made our subs. We're going to demand a little more because they're looking overwhelmed. Diego Jota. Coming forward again. He is leading the line for them, but on his own against four or five defenders. So I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm just worried that thing like this will happen. Oh my God, Leno was caught out of position and Jota got through. Um, what we will do is we're going to... Oh, do we want to whip crosses in? We got, they got so many players there. Do you know what? I feel like let's not try and break the line. Let's whip crosses in. Let's hit, let's hit first time. Triori. Swings one in. Martinelli clears. Otto back to Triori. Puts it back post. Loads of space. Let's try it. We're trying to get into their box when they've got, well, they've got flat back five now <laughs> with two DMs. Let's just pop it from long range if we have to. We're ahead. They need to come at us. Sibolas. Out to Martinelli. Martinelli, can he find any space? Whips it back to Sibolas. One more. That's the sort of thing that I was hoping for. Nani Sibolas bangs one in from 35 yards. Two goals against Wolves. Fifth goal of the season for that man. Oh, my sweet giddy aunt. Well, that's kind of what I was hoping for. Martinelli cuts it back. Savolos goes, all right, I don't need to break down your five-man defence. I'm just going to put it in top bins. We'll praise the boys now. They're on defensive. We can sit and hold here all day long. Two goals up. No need to push any further forward. Wolves, what are you going to do now? 70 minutes gone. Will we see them flick from their defensive stance and come more attacking? Right, 10 minutes ago, what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that we're, we're closing down these these wide guys. Getting in on them straight away. They've gone up to cautious from defensive. Sibolas now into Hammers and then catcher. Find Saka. Can he come in on his left? He does. <sighs> Thought he was going to hit it. Hammers. Sibolas. Oh, oh. For a moment there. For a moment there, I thought he was getting two. Ruben Nevers. 84 minutes gone. Chance for Wolves to get one back here from a corner. Wally Bolly misses at the back post. Good block, good block. Jota off or Raul Jimenez on. Can we deal with Raul Jimenez? There we go. Make sure that we've got the position on. Make sure he's just getting marked up the same way. Good sign. Jota's been there, probably their best man. He's been holding up the ball a lot for him. So the fact they've had to switch him means we did a good job of closing him down. Now we just need to make sure we do the same with Jimenez. Shabani. Oh, Kira. Oh, that was not a great clearance there, bud. We've got a lot of back defending against one defender. 
It's one defender versus multiple, and um, one striker versus multiple defenders on both sides at the moment. But we have the two goal advantage. Ref, come on. Shabani, he's got the overlap on. He's not used it, he's gone on his own. Uh, I don't know what his ref is doing, we've played a minute over. There we go. All over at the Emirates, 2-0 up, and we missed the penalty. Nice victory there. That is the formation working. We had to make a triple sub again, which is annoying, having to keep making these subs. Uh, but that win gives us 23 points of a game in hand. Game in hand over uh, Manchester United. So if we win that, we go two points ahead of them. Three points behind Chelsea and Manchester City. Uh, and it's just about when we then get that game in hand in. Danny Sabolas. That goal was was superb. Well done, bud. Well done, buddy. Playing as a box to box as well. Um, Zidane is watching Lacazette. Interesting. Interesting. Lacazette not scored that many goals for us at the moment. Um, let me. Yeah, what's Lacazette got at the moment? Five goals. We got more goals coming from Pepe. So maybe one to look at if they're going to want to pay big big bucks for him. He'll want to go because it's Lacazette. Uh, he's in his peak. Who would we bring in? I mean, Nketiah's not been great, but it might, might be one change that we find we have to make. Bringing in a big striker. If we were going to bring in a big striker, who would you recommend? Who's a good striker for Arsenal? We could always push Pepe forward, to be fair. Now he's at 14 finishing. Nelson, he's not really a striker either, is he? We might need to go out for an out-and-out -out striker. We still have a Bamiyang. He'll be back soon. Uh, 17 fishing, finishing. So we could easily just slot a Bamiyang back in once he's fully fit. And then we go out into the market for another striker. But that's where we'll leave it. If we have a look at the schedule, we've got a nice run of games still. Uh, the Europa Cup to finish. We've got Everton in the Premier League. Uh, West Ham coming up as well. Aston Villa. Where are West Ham doing? 15th. Come on. Uh, Newcastle. And then we have the Carrow Cup quarterfinal and a Premier League game against Man United. So we'll come back for the Premier League game, I think. Uh, that will be one that will, if we have our game in hand already, which we should do, the Villa game should be the game in hand. That'll be a big, big game for us. Can we hold them off? Hopefully we're ahead of them. Keep hold of our fourth place spot. And then we take them on in the Carrow Cup quarterfinal as well, uh, before we then have Manchester City uh, on Boxing Day. What a lovely run of fixtures that is. Our first North London derby comes in January. So if this is, this is going to be the time. We've got these easy games. United City and Tottenham all within a few weeks of each other. That will uh, that will tell us how our season is going. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see how we can get on. The, the target is to do better than, than Emery's done. Uh, Arsenal, to be fair, which I'm, I seem to be doing. We've won seven games. But yeah, if we can get Champions League football oh, and do something in the Europa League, that will be a complete season for me. But I'll leave it there. If you have enjoyed, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you back next time as we look to take on Manchester United and hopefully... Look at securing a little bit of a foothold in the Champions League places. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.